Hey YouTube, you may have seen one of a number of videos that show how you can use steam to pull water into an empty bottle. It's a cool trick, but there's something that everyone seems to be missing. As the water gets pulled in, it doesn't get pulled in in a nice even way as the steam condenses into a liquid. There's actually a very violent contraction and the water is pulled in and slams against the inside of the bottle. This is something well known called steam hammer. It happens in steam systems used to heat buildings or in steam power systems like a steam engine. Using my high speed camera, you can see each stage of the steam hammer as it occurs and I'll break it down for you so you can see what's happening. In the first stage, water starts to slowly rise up the neck of the bottle. As it moves into the body of the bottle, the surface area of the water that's in contact with the steam increases. This allows more steam to condense into the cool water. This causes the pressure inside the bottle to rapidly drop. The water begins to get pulled in more and more rapidly by the lowering pressure until finally the pressure drops so quickly that it's below the vapor pressure of the incoming water. The vapor pressure is the pressure at which water will boil for a certain temperature. When the pressure drops so quickly, like inside this bottle, the incoming water actually begins to boil and turns into a cloud. This cloud formation actually consumes energy. It takes, it takes a lot of energy to boil water. So to make a cloud, it pulls heat out of the remaining steam and out of the water that's on its way into the bottle. This causes the cloud to rapidly condense against the inside of the bottle and against the water which is now rushing in quite violently, making a very hard vacuum. Not a vacuum like outer space, but a vacuum that's much stronger than you'd find in a shop vac that you'd use to clean your house. This very hard vacuum pulls the water in very rapidly, causing it to cavitate at the neck of the bottle. This is the water being pulled so fast that it is pulled into steam bubbles as it rushes into the bottle. Once the bottle is completely filled, the water slams up against the inside. All the small bubbles inside are vapor bubbles. They're full of water vapor, not air. As the pressure increases by the slamming of the water, all of those bubbles are squished, causing them to almost disappear and making the water transparent. This squishing is like squeezing a rubber ball. It wants to squeeze back. So all of those bubbles expand again, making the water nearly opaque as the pressure wave oscillates back and forth inside the bottle. Once all of the movement has dissipated, you're left with an entirely full bottle with very few bubbles of air at the top. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to see more content like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.